is Ripple breaking away from Bitcoin? Watch this video to find out. So in this video, I'll talk about the Bitcoin dependency. In the market, guys, when Bitcoin goes up, cryptocurrencies go up. When Bitcoin goes down, the whole market goes down. As you can see, Bitcoin has been going down and the market and the altcoins are taking a bigger hit. That has been the trend and this is, this is how the cryptocurrency market works. There has been some kind of safe havens where kind of people move money when Bitcoin goes down like Dogecoin. Some people talked about Binance coin. But usually guys when Bitcoin goes down the whole market goes down. There's sometimes um, outbreaks or breakouts of coins when there's positive news. An example would be an Ethereum classic. But usually, whenever Bitcoin goes up or down, it follows. So in this video, I'll talk about could Ripple be the coin that kind of breaks away from Bitcoin dependency. So the first of all, I'll, I'll talk about three reasons why there's a massive Bitcoin dependency. But before getting into this video, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please scroll down and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on cryptocurrency price predictions, news updates, uh, breaking news good insights technical analysis the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money so if you want to stay up to date with bitcoin and cryptocurrency news and make some money please hit that subscribe button now and if you have already subscribed to my channel thank you very much for subscribing to my channel also guys i do a bit a litecoin giveaway so if you want to win half a litecoin subscribe to my channel and leave your litecoin addresses below so let's get into the video so the first reason why there's a massive dependency is first to the market so bitcoin is what people know about bitcoin is the first to the market people some people don't even know there's altcoins and everyone just knows there's bitcoin and people just go to bitcoin initially and when bitcoin goes down people kind of lose interest in and and they just kind of lose kind of faith in in bitcoin and bitcoin is the beacon of investor confidence the primary reason for ripple following closely to the price changes of bitcoin is that btc serves as a beacon for investor in comp in in the cryptocurrency marketplace and th the way that cryptocurrency works guys when people see bitcoin going down the whole market the mindset changes there's so more people talk about manipulative practices and then whenever there's a hack people just it just affects bitcoin and, and it just seems to affect the whole market and and the market is linked as well the example that they they've used here is um the apple it's like thinking about stock market if every individual stock has was a function of the pricing of apple so when apple went down it took the market down with it that's where cryptocurrency is you know it's not great but that's how it kind of works and and when bitcoin network congestion of fees reached uh, the the and all the all the issues with that and madness in addition to the market confusion introduced uh, <laughs> over the hard work of bitcoin and it's just all confuses and whenever bitcoin falls guys the general public sees cryptocurrency as a bad investment and possibly a bubble scam and all that and if you watch my videos guys i've explained reasons why it's not a bubble and why i'm bullish on bitcoin so i'm not sharing fun i'm just sharing some of the information how people might think and perceive bitcoin and cryptocurrency final reason is most cryptocurrency money flows through btc so whenever there's a lot of there's not many pairs that you can buy ripple or ethereum or other co other coins with with um usd some of the ones are coming through now so you can buy rip uh, ethereum or litecoin on coinbase using uh, fiat money but usually if you want to buy an altcoin you buy btc and use your btc to buy those altcoin that's usually how the market works and binance if you want to buy a, a coin that not many people know about an altcoin or even some of the bigger altcoins you'd have to buy some btc using your fiat or buy some uh, btc on coinbase send it send your btc bitcoin to binance and then to use your use your bitcoin on binance uh, to buy your altcoin it's slightly confusing but that's how it works unless there's more usd pairs or more fiat pairs it's, this is going to carry on happening but ripple there are some pairs coming on binance and binance are doing quite well coinbase are adding more coins so potentially this might happen in the future so with more and more fiat to cryptocurrency pairs there might be a change of this but currently guys we are very bitcoin dependent for money to come into the market so that was just a general reason why there's a massive dependency on bitcoin 
But if you want to look at it from Ripple's point of view, for Ripple to break away, something major, not for Ripple, for any coin to break away from this dependency, there has to be a major change in the cryptocurrency world because people still believe in Bitcoin as the top. Bitcoin is the king. So for Ripple to break that away, they have to create a partnership with Facebook or Amazon or they have to do something to be the, the number one digital currency where people are using it all over the world. I mean, they're, they're creating large partnership with banks and they're getting into the banks circles but that's ripple more than xrp which i'll talk about in a bit but they need to do something out of this world and drive crazy adoption for it to happen for it to break away for bitcoin i don't see it necessarily happening anytime soon especially the, the market that we are in now so bitcoin is not the panacea people thought it would be so ripple ripple see your brad uh, Garling House again. This take it, take this with a pinch of salt because he's obviously going to be biased to Bitcoin. So he talks about that you know XRP is a lot quicker and and Bitcoin is 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 not solving the problems that we expect it to solve. And there are different kinds of problems. Um, and he's saying that Ripple could be the one that solves the problem. Ripple is a lot faster. It's it's cheaper, thousands of times cheaper. Um. So this is why he thinks that Bitcoin might not be the coin that lasts. Bitcoin could be one of the Bitcoin could be Bebo to Facebook. You know, Bitcoin might not be the one that kind of takes us to the Bitcoin could be the MySpace to 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 Facebook. But I mean, I'm I'm bullish on Bitcoin, but that's what Garling House is saying. I don't really think about it as one versus another. I mean, it's actually unfortunate. I think there's some people in this in this the crypto space the blockchain space for them it's a holy war one versus another i don't look at it like that that's another in interesting insight guys with all the kind of new platforms and interoperability th there could be not just one bitcoin or cryptocurrency there could be many and they could be working together so it's not just about one coin one cryptocurrency so i'm, I'm happy that he said that and there should be an overall growth in the market it's just some fud he's just ignored there's been some um law lawsuits for uh, ripple and kind of the set news so you just kind of talked about um those lawsuits and tried to clear up that ripple is not a security so it's just little fud that comes out and they're trying to attack it so i'm gonna look at a few articles guys to give you guys a really good insights uh, ripple is saying there's going to be dozens more banks that will use cryptocurrency products and these product is going to take them to the next level so one of the one the key ones the the ripple the, the product that they use is x current but x current do not use uh, xrp so that is why some of the crypto enthusiasts and crypto kind of the crypto fans the people that know cryptocurrency do not like ripple as much because it's a bit centralized i've talked about what ripple is and how it works and i've shared i'll try to not judge them i try to look at what the problem that they can solve and the, the, one of the issues is that ripple is yes they're getting a lot of partnerships but that doesn't mean xrp are being used they're slightly different and the, one of the main products that Ripple up, um, is helping them get adoption is X Current, which is not using XRP. The product that uses XRP is X Rapids, but that is not being used as much. So, pay, so the, the problem that they're tr trying to solve, they're not actually using XRP. But what Brad Garlinghouse is saying is, in the future, money would be sent in X Rapids system, converted into XRP to move it through Ripple's product faster, then converted back into whatever currency is required at the other end. So negative, you could say X Current is not using XRP. The positive, you could say Ripple is getting into this banking and building contact using X Current, and they're going to bring in X Rapids and use XRP in the future so it's up to you to think about which which ones you you use i've publicly stated that by the end of the year i have every confidence that major banks will use x rapid as a liquidity tool and x rapid uses xrp so if this is the case guys this could help uh, give ripple a solid solid use case and help drive adoption which is what we need in the cryptocurrency world um, this is another article, Ripple price update, crypto CEO claims Ripple will break free from competition after this. So let's see what he's saying. He's, he's saying a lot of people, when they think about cryptocurrencies, they think of Bitcoin, which is obviously the case. If you talk to cryptocurrency with your family, they will talk about um, 
Bitcoin and not really XRP or cryptocurrency. So uh, what what did Garlinghouse say to this question? I think it is an important question. When you look at the earliest days, Ripple staked out straight out a space that used we are not anti-government we are not working against banks banks we are trying to circumvent regulations and he thinks this is the key instead we're trying to work with the system we think blockchain revolution can really happen within the system it is not attacking the system so he's got a completely different vision to some of the other cryptocurrencies and I think this could work because with all the regulations that are coming in, working with the banks might actually bring cryptocurrencies in front of people. I think that is the only a matter of time as people better understand the different use cases. So, I mean, both could work. Ripple could be working with more with banks and Bitcoin could be something separate. That could be something that happened in the future. I've talked about it before, but as they're working slightly differently and with all the regulations coming in, uh, their partnerships with banks and trying to work within the government and within the banking regulations they could uh, actually break away from bitcoin so that is one of the articles that we're talking about to break free from this competition being uh, not anti-government could help uh, could actually help ripple and in this article he talks about this as well but one thing he talks about a lot is that there's a lot of noise and a lot of hype i think it's important to stay grounded and look at what is the real problem who is the customer what's the value being created by solving that problem for those customers and ripple is trying to solve a real world problem with partnerships and money transfers move money around the world quickly and they're trying to get people to use xrp as well and 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 this is what he's trying to say and and the highest high transaction speed cheap uh, cheap note high really quick transaction speed cheap transaction fees will help ripple achieving that and ripple is different to blockchain in that instead of using hash tree to consolidate data into a single value that is compared across servers to validate and provide anonymity so ripples not a blockchain in a way but what they're trying to solve is slightly different and they they are talking about adding value and solving a real world problem which is what ultimately gives value so this is why he's thinking that ripple will be uh, this is what will be key to breaking away from the bitcoin dependency so what the end bit that i wanted to show you here was that that SEC is getting involved as they should because there are frauds committed and we have been an advocate of yes the government should get involved and the government should be protecting investors and companies but there's also examples of real utility he also made clear, clear that xrp token is not a security and um, if you own xrp you don't own any rights to profits or any dividends to the company as xrp is a real is a real utility this is important because you know being a security will bring loads of other different issues so not being a security could potentially give it you know being added to coinbase I'll, I'll, I'll not talk about coinbase in this video i'll talk about it in another video but that is another thing so there's a high correlation between the price of xrp and the price of bitcoin but ultimately these are independent open source technology it's early over time you'll see more rational market and behavior that reflect that so um with all the kind of the northern industry the speculation dominance the trading activity i think it's a matter of time until people understand the different use cases so with some of the benefits i've talked about you know and being and being not anti-government and and the solving real world issues and not being security could help ripple get to where they want to be so and this is another good article it talks about ripple and ethereum going uh, on being the ethereum of crypto so i mean rather than talking about ripple taking over bitcoin let's talk about how ripple compared to ethereum first because it, it ripple and ethereum are still a small percentage of of the bitcoin's market cap and bitcoin is a major topic so what is ethereum and, and, and compared to ripples so ripple is the technology that enables fast cross-border transactions whereas ethereum is the future operating system of all things blockchain and um, and ripple ripple the what i've talked about ripple centralized approach and close ties with traditional financial institutions uh, it brings a lot of criticisms from cryptocurrency and blockchain purists i like 
I, I, although I would say I'm a blockchain purist, I still like to give people a different chance and I try to see the good in projects rather than the bad. But I'm also very careful before I invest my money. So it talks about some of the benefits of Ripple, but it also talks about what Ethereum can bring to the table. And Ethereum boosts smart contracts, which is great. And it's, it's it kind of it's been a revolutionary technology. It's taken blockchain to the next level. So Bitcoin has been the pioneer, but Ethereum has played a massive part as well. But here it talks about kind of the CTO at Ripple called Steph Stefan. He was part of the team that worked on developing the first smart contract on Ripple. And um, the smart contracts at the, at the time, Ethereum's founder took up Ripple's key value data and built it into Ethereum. So perhaps if Ripple team took up the daunting task of building smart contracts on XRP blockchain, Ethereum would be the third largest cryptocurrency, while Ripple would be a runner up to Bitcoin. So I'll let you guys. I mean, I'm a massive fan of Ethereum, and I think Ethereum should be second. But that's what their point of view was. And this is before you go buy loads of xrp this is a really positive article about xrp i'm not a huge fan of this and i don't think it will get to ten dollars anytime soon maybe in the future um again i might be wrong because anything can happen in the cryptocurrency but it talks about Codia smart contract platform and many ripple and xrp fans excited for it being released um and they were thinking, could Kodia so long take it to $10? And for it to go to $10, guys, there has to be dozens of banks that are using Ripple products. And they need to be using XRP Rapids and not just you know, other Ripple products. They need to be using XRP. And, and for it to happen, guys, if, if XRP is being used, it will drive demand for it. It will see different price action. And that could be when Ripple starts to take slightly break away from Bitcoin. But there's still going to be Bitcoin dependent. And I don't see it anytime soon where Ripple uh, breaks away from Bitcoin and, and they have to, you know, take over the financial system and, you know, the hodlers and buyers would have to really believe in this technology and buy more for it to happen. But it will take time. One thing about the Ripple community is stay strong. There's been a lot of you know negative news and people selling and people giving up hope. Um, but Ripple is a strong project, but the community is quite strong as well. And this is something on the, I've seen it on the Reddit um, comments. Someone posted this, and this is really interesting, guys. I'll, I'll read this out for you. People basically buy and sell cryptocurrency coins just as if they were valuable vintage baseball cards which hold value based on supply and demand, but with which you cannot actually do anything. Ripple actually developing a platform and services around XRP where said services actually make sense and solve real world problems. Fast and reliable international money transfer between banks and financial institutions without requiring to have money locked up in nostril and vostril accounts so this is a really good point guys at the moment we're kind of trading vintage baseball cards but ripple is trying to actually solve something so people that kind of lost hope on ripple for the price crashing down massively and not 0.56 i mean I'm, i'll talk about some technical analysis and then if it breaks few levels guys we could see it even drop lower than 50 50 cents but i'll talk about it in a bit but this is a really good comment to see and it talks about what the uh, cryptocurrencies can actually solve so ethereum what they're trying to do what Monero is trying to do, what EOS is trying to do, we need to look at the functionality, guys. So Ripple isn't the only to only token that has underlying values. That said, I'm invested in Ripple for exactly the same reasons. Talks about it's a nice analogy. And finally, the end bit that I'd like to talk about is that's exactly the reason people held XRP across all time highs. And the reason for that, what I really liked was volume will come from real use of XRP through X Rapids. Therefore, the price will be less dependent on speculation. So when XRP is being used through X Rapids, volume will come. People will see actual use cases and potentially we could um we reach the all-time highs in the future but it's gonna need a lot of partnerships and a lot of adoption and xrp has to be used for it to happen uh but again i mean breaking away from bitcoin ripple could go a lot higher for it to break away it will need to kind of kind of take over the financial system so a bit of technical analysis guys a key level that we need to look for is that 
uh, needs to fight not 0.56 if it needs to stay above this level guys if it breaks that we could see it lower than 50 cents this is what i think as well so we'll see what happens but it's, it's trading at a very critical level and a lot of resistance are breaking down so a lot of people are selling and hoping to buy back a lot of my uh, stop losses have been sold and i'm still kind of waiting in in on on the sides so a lot of the things that i've talked about has been positive ripple news now I'm, i'll talk about something that i do not like about ripple obviously the centralized beer and uh, you know there's lots of other stuff that they actually hold a lot of xrp and then there's different st stuff that i've talked about in the past but one thing that i really still do not like as much is that xrp is not being used so a lot of the lot of the companies are using x current i believe santander are using it and they're trying to push it to even the japanese government so santander using it the shift market so there's lots of partnerships and great partnerships and it's actually great for ripple but not so much good news for xrp so they need to use xrp <sighs> because x current is being is often chosen by banking institutions and people seem to think that ripple are pushing x current and not pushing xrp and then neglecting xrp and um, so they need to push x rapids although brad is saying that xrp will be used and x rapids will be chosen in the future we have not seen that yet ripple foundation is pushing x current towards mass adoption and given the fact that xrp is only, only powers x rapids they're they're pushing x current which is not great um and ripple seems to be playing for both teams as xrp is well and alive in the market it's only the case that ripple team seems to be staying on top of the trending list on google when it comes to adoption in the banking industry not in terms of blockchain technology and digital currencies so they're talking about that ripple is in the news for <laughs> the banking industry and x currents and not necessarily for blockchain technology and digital currency so is ripple less likely to become that currency if it's not that currency, they have to, I mean, like I've said before, they have to do something extraordinary to break away from Bitcoin. And if they're not kind of the uh, the currency and not trying to become one, could we expect Ripple to break away from Bitcoin? I personally do not think so. While the majority of blockchain based projects are aiming at bringing their tokens and coins to the point where the assets uh, could become alternative currencies. Ripple seems to be neglecting that part of the bargain. While we immediately think Bitcoin, when you start considering idea of having a digital asset becoming a widely accepted global currency, XRP somehow doesn't fit that frame. This might be another reason for having hardcore, hardcore crypto investors and enthusiasts staying away from Ripple. However, since Ripple's main objective is to entering banking industry with X current and X beer, Ripple seems to be doing more than well while XRP is holding on to the spot of the third best cryptocurrency on the global ranking. So they need to be paying a lot more attention to XRP over ripple so that's one thing that i'd like to point out slightly negative news guys but this is i mean i like to share everything positive and negative and i want you guys to make up your mind and not listen to crypto rocker or anyone else on youtube please use this information to make your own and do your own research to make your own mind finally guys i'd like to end it on a positive note and kind of summarize what's what i've done in this what i've said in this video so what what brad garlinghauser said is XRP will gradually beat BTC by solving real world problems for actual customers rather than being a store of value as Bitcoin and I've talked about XRP being quicker and cheaper than Bitcoin. As the cryptoverse grows and expands there will be many cryptocurrencies and projects that will rise with time. XRP will, will be one of the coins and projects with Bitcoin continually reducing in importance. So that is kind of the summary of the video what Brad Garlinghouse said and what I've discussed xrp and ripple could potentially do but there's a lot of ifs and i've mentioned some of the negatives as well so thank you very much for watching this good video guys if you have enjoyed it please scroll down and subscribe to my channel I, I put a lot of time and effort into making this video so i really appreciate your subscribe and smash that like button guys if you have enjoyed this video and if you want to win like guys all you have to do is scroll down subscribe to my 
channel smash that like button and leave your half you leave your litecoin address not your bitcoin address below to win half a litecoin so again thank you very much for watching guys subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me and doesn't cost you anything and share this video with your friends and family on facebook twitter or just word of mouth so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much